Pat, Coach Pat Meisels from Meisels Training Hall here with Tyler Meisels. We're going to demonstrate the power clean as it would be adjudicated during a power clean competition. We're not looking for an overly technical Olympic quality uh, power clean. Um, we're just looking um, for a local power lifting or a power clean competition as to what would be expected. So here the athlete would approach the bar with the bar in front of them and they would have a hand over hand positioning. The lift is begun with the bar on the floor, and the expectation is that the bar will eventually get to the shoulders of the athlete. But in between there, the floor, and the shoulders, a few things can happen. Um, the athlete will not be um, will not be assessed a lift until the bar passes his knees. And therefore, Tyler demonstrated a re-gripping of the bar. And then back down. The lift has not been recorded yet because it did not pass his knees. This is allowed. Once the lift, once the bar passes the athlete's knees, then the lift is allocated. The lift, the lift is judged. And it can never go negative once it passes the knees. No hitching, no resting on the thighs, and uh, when I say no, not going negative, once it passes the knees, demonstrate what going negative would be. There, you can down. If he then decided to go back up again, that would be a no lift. Now, Tyler, can you do a proper power clean for me? Here, the bar came to rest between the deltoid and the show and the um, traps, or in front of the net, on the clavicle of the athlete. What would not be allowed is the bar resting on the biceps or within the crux of the elbows. That would not be allowed whatsoever. Um, also notice, Tyler, can you uh, can you repeat that? Can you do that again and hold where you are? Just going to repeat the lift. Hold where you catch it. His femur is above parallel. His hips are not in between his knees. This is what makes it a power clean and not a full clean. So the athlete in power clean competition is obligated to stay above parallel on the catch and cannot go below. At this point, when the lift is finalized, the center judge will give Tyler the down signal, down. And notice he just followed it with his hands. He is not obligated, as a matter of fact, it would be highly unsafe for him to continue to hang on to the bar all the way to the floor, as with excessive weight, he could actually injure himself by rotating himself around the bar. That's the power play. Thank you. One last thing. Uh, thank you, Todd. Um, a hook grip with tape thumbs is fine. Straps are not allowed. Um, you, you're not obligated to use a hook grip. You can use a, uh, a regular grip, but straps are not allowed. Thank you.